Today we're going to be building a wireless robot car that uses mechanum wheels to enable omnidirectional movement. If you haven't heard of mechanum wheels before, they're a tireless wheel with a series of rubberized rollers around the circumference. These rollers are typically at an angle of 45 degrees to the wheel's axis line, and opposing wheels are of the opposite hand. This enables the usual forward, backward and turning movements of standard wheels, but also allows translational movements horizontally and diagonally, depending on which direction the wheels are turned. We're going to be using the quantum integration system to take inputs from a joystick controller and drive the motors. We'll be using two builder bases, one as a transmitter on the controller, and one as a receiver on the robot car. I'm going to use their DIY PCB kits for the power supply, DC motor driver and the joystick controller. We'll be using the same card that I've used previously on my obstacle avoiding robot and object tracking robot projects, but this time I'll replace the Arduino with the builder base. Let's start out by assembling the power supply module. This module just takes a DC input of 7 to 12 volts provided through a 2.1mm barrel jack and converts it to 3.3 volts or 5 volts to be used by the builder base or motor driver. Next we're going to assemble the 4 motor driver kit. This kit features two L293D motor drivers, along with a PWM expander and the supporting components to drive up to 4 small DC motors, so it's perfect for this application. We're going to connect the motors to the driver and then the driver to the builder base. This is done as per the project notes on the quantum integration wiki, I'll leave a link to that in the video description. Now that the basic car's done, I'm going to put the original wheels back on for the first test, and we'll then look at expanding the functionality for the mechanum wheel movements. Next let's build our joystick controller. This is the last PCB kit to assemble, and features two two-axis joysticks with push buttons, as well as a third push button in the center. It's got an onboard voltage regulator, so it can be powered directly using a 9 volt battery. To add our builder base, we need to remove it from the plastic housing and screw it onto the brass standoffs in the controller. One thing to be aware of is that the battery holder is right up against the terminals on the builder base, and so is the joystick cover on the other side, so you need to use some flexible or 90 degree terminals. Quantum provide a 3D printable housing for the joystick as well, so I've printed that out to put the PCB into. Now we've got the robot car and the joystick complete, so we can start with the programming. I'm going to start by testing that the system is receiving all the inputs from the joystick controller correctly. To do this, we create an app which takes the three hardware objects, the two joysticks and the center push button, and displays the outputs on our app dashboard. With that running, it looks like the joysticks are working correctly, and we're able to see which of the three buttons are pushed. So now we can add our robot car to the app, so that the joystick controller's outputs drive the car. I'm going to use Quantum Integration's base app for their robot car as a starting point. This just takes the y-axis of each of the two joysticks, and maps the output to drive the left and right sets of wheels in pairs. So the left joystick drives the left two wheels, and the right joystick drives the right two wheels. Once we've got the app loaded onto our server, we can upload the firmware to our robot car's builder base. We've already got the firmware for the joystick controller uploaded from the previous test. We can then run the app and try out our robot car. We can also use the buttons on the dashboard to control the car rather than using a joystick. This we can access through our phone. This doesn't give you as precise control as the joysticks do, as they're just on-off signals and not analog signals, but you get the idea. Next we're going to have a look at the omnidirectional wheels. 
I've replaced each of the wheels on the robot car with a mechanum wheel. There are two different wheel types, and they're a mirror image of each other. You need to make sure that the wheels on the front and back are opposite hands, so that they create a sideways reaction force when they rotate in opposite directions. Next we need to add some logic to the app to drive the wheels in opposite directions when we want the car to move sideways. We could use the x-axis on one of our joysticks, but I think it would be easier to use the joystick push buttons. So you push the left joystick to move left, and you push the right joystick to move right. I've written a custom function block to produce a forward and backward signal when an input button is triggered, and I've connected the outputs to the four motors. Let's save and upload the app and see if it works. We don't need to worry about the firmware, as we're using the same hardware that we used previously. Our car is now able to move forward and backward, turn in either direction and move sideways without rotating. Let me know what you think of the Mechanum wheels and this Mechanum car in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials, and reviews.